Hey, Barbies and Kens. Good morning. How are you? I noticed I haven't been going live a lot. Me and Doug did the other day, just kind of randomly talking about our upcoming Disney trip next week. But I've been really crafty lately. That's a bar of soap somebody actually made for me. Gorgeous, huh? Uh, but I've been super crafty lately. And this is kind of my craft table. So I figured I would kind of show you what is on my craft table. And I'm sorry if there's a loud noise in the background. I was not expecting that to be going on. Um, but anyways, there's like some cookies I was in the building on earlier. So I had my paints all lined up. Usually I have this really organized and then it gets messed up in between projects. This is just like actually a dog's pad that you could use like, you know, for your dog to go on. So I use that just like to soak up the paints and odds and ends and stuff like that. And then all of my paints are in the back. So let's actually go through the table while I try to clean up here. So this is a body that I'm working on right now for a project. So I have the body. It doesn't look like it maybe on camera, but it's purple and then white. And here actually is its head that I was working on today. Hey, Brie, how are you? Good morning. Thanks for waking up with me. I felt so crafty. I've honestly, and I vlogged last night for you guys for Gabby Vlogs, but I took like maybe almost a week of just doing this kind of stuff with, you know, me going to Florida for four days and I won't be doing any of this to kind of have a break. But I took a week off just because I needed to like honestly put my trip first for once because that's like coming up and have I really talked about it? No, I finally am. And I'm like looking into it and putting stuff together and getting the money together. And it's just been really crazy and wild, but I'm almost there. But here is my little pineapple friend. I have a whole idea for him to have like a little bow tie and stuff on. So his head will be getting attached once this is like primed and perfect. And I have it exactly because there's like a little chip there the way I want it. And then it's going to have its little primer on it and get stuck on and then get the little bow tie and get this perfectly finished before it gets attached too. So, you know, that has uh, some ways to go. So let's actually keep him down there because he's not wet or anything. And I'm trying to clear the tape off and show it to you. Thank you so much. Uh, these actually, Diana, will be for sale over on Little Sweet Sales on my Instagram. And then I want to start putting up my OAK on, um, I was going to say Instagram. It's on Instagram, eBay. And I have a couple odds and ends on there, but I want to do more. These dolls will be up probably in the fall. You'll be able to catch these first on my Instagram page. And then I'll be taking them to my first craft fall like sale sort of thing and like a festival where a bunch of people are and I can make business cards and stuff. I am pumped. I am so freaking excited. You have no idea. So I'm just, I can't wait. Like, I just feel like the winter, I'm gonna have a bottle of wine, which as you guys know with my fibromyalgia, I don't really drink anymore, but a nice little white wine, you know, around the holidays, some smooth Michael Bublé jazz and crafting for you guys. Uh, like right now, I think I'm in the Halloween mode. It feels like that all year sometimes, but right now I'm really like, I'm stuck between summer and like fall sort of, because then I have this bloody girl I'm going to show you. Uh, but yeah, I love it. Thank you so much, Brie. I love having my blonde hair back again. Honestly, I feel like my freaking self and that makes me so happy. Just I feel like me again. So let's keep going at my table. Okay. Let's get, should we get her because she's not really wet anymore. Her feet might be. Should we check? Let's check. No, she feels so crap. So this girl like has been here quite a while. She is not like some newcomer just made or something. I've had her for over a year that I've just been, I like I work on her and I'm like, nah, I don't want to work on her anymore. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'll work on her again. So here she is. And I have her painted, as you can see, it's like off orange. This is kind of, if you could see in the back, the color she was before. But I have to make more of this up. Hopefully I can get that color to put back onto this and finish her. But she's she's a work in progress. She's getting there. She just I work on her when I'm bored, and I feel like one day she'll just be done. And I was like, oh, cool, finally. It took forever. I kind of have these color coordinated. Coordinated. Can't talk. Probably still half asleep. 
I wouldn't be surprised. So there's a violet. We're going to put the blue with the blue down there and black with black. There we go. Some little trinkets I have here. I wanted to make this little candy wrapper into a pin. This pin I wanted to put on my actually my carry-on bag. A bunch of these little bear pins that are actually for sale over at my page. This one needs to be made into a pin. This one has like a little bottle. It's so cute. Hope the lighting's okay. This is all like natural lighting and it's early morning here. I think it's is it just 10 o'clock possibly. Then we got that pin. So you can find those all over at my page. This one needs to be made into one but has a little paintbrush. Got a cute little bow. This little skeleton bunny that dress needs work. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. paintbrushes hair tie that could actually just not be here this is gonna go right here we're gonna get to her when we get down to the line so let's leave that there um yeah after i have like a lot of projects done this gets washed and then everything put back on for more all right so let's put the yellow where it belongs so these all fell over blue isn't right there. I don't have a lot of blue paint. That's odd. Oops, that. that I made like a year ago. I think I made that during the holiday actually like the Christmas season because that was for like the little Santa pieces and Gabby just put some mushroom in it. Like okay cool. So here is that. Now we're gonna get down here. So, we're going to talk about Strawberry Girl now, finally. She was my first one. This was my inspiration about even, like, doing the little fruit guys. And I'm obsessed. Like, doing this doll, too, I put so much, like, sweat and just tears and labor into it. I feel like looking at her, like, when I was doing her, I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm keeping her. I'm crafting her for myself. And now I'm like... She, I'll, I'll give her a home, but like I need to touch up obviously in here. She's not ready for sale by any means yet. Her dress needs to get done. She's getting something to cover up that backing. So like there's a lot that needs to be done on this one. Let's keep his little accessories together. Let's keep her and little accessory together. There's my accessory, broke bitch, come buy dolls. <laughs> oh, I found orange paint behind me. So let's throw that down there. This is my little palette, as you can see. I love it. I think they're so pretty. Is that all I have to say? Like, they're just... I think they're pretty. I just... I love art. It's my favorite. My favorite? Oh, I lied. I do have some blue paint. Not really, though. And then you're probably like, what the hell was that big bird, Gabby? Um, here. This is my show bird. <laughs> I'm actually so proud of this because this is made from a porcelain doll that was, like, ripped apart. It has paper mache, um, some clay added to it, a wooden base, feathers. There's actually a feather in the back I have to replace because my mom broke it. Uh, she was moving it, and she's like, I can't put this in my area. Someone's going to break it. Someone's going to ruin this on you. And because she has, like, a little spot she wanted to take it to. So she's like, don't, I can't. And now I just know this is that mark in the wing I'm going to cut out. But, um... Yeah, I was like, okay, I guess uh, I'll have to take it. Well, this is definitely going with me, if it, unless it gets sold before that on my page or anywhere. But this is going to be going with me to the art festival, fair, whatever you want to call it. There's the back. A wing broke off in the back, as you can see in here, so I'm going to be covering that up and then fixing, clipping that one. But this is pretty much done. My, Like I said, my mom sabotaged it <laughs> and broke it, but it's okay. So let's keep that over here because I need some fixing up too. And then down there, I just have extra paintbrushes, acetone. There's a little cake that's for sale on my page, but there's candles. I got broken off it probably from somebody yet again. That's for sale. And actually, there's somebody watching that little cute trinket box on eBay. So if you want it, that's on my eBay. All these links I'm talking about too, guys, I'm going to be posting them in my description box. But then also, if you go on to my Instagram, all at the top of the little bubbles, like there's my Instagram page, my selling page, my eBay, like everything is listed there for you. So we're going to go to the floor and start trying to clean up my floor. And I'll show you odds and ends. Here's the broken 
See, I was really upset about the broken feather because I was like, maybe I can, my whole thing is reuse, reduce, recycle. So like, I'm like, maybe I can cut that, use it for a different project in the future, who knows. I love just like reusing things for other projects. And sometimes I get old dolls and I love what people do with them, but I'm like, I couldn't do that because I collect. So that's what, like, I love doing stuff with old toys, but then it's like, I collect them too. So I'm like, oh, I gotta watch like how old it is. I'm just weird about it. Like if it's really damaged and it's like, yeah, it's fair game, but okay so this little guy oh my god i love this as well if you guys have not seen this yet i posted this on my main instagram on my sailor page like this is on my maricria page whatever that little app was that i was using if you watch my vlog channel to sell stuff but i love this so much the skeleton doll she's so creepy her face is so creepy i wish like honestly this camera doesn't do it justice and looking at it in person and you're like oh my god it's like what is that the head does not move but like the arms do and i love her so she's for sale she is not done either she needs a mod podge i think on this arm and the other arm because i was touching something up because to be honest like when i finish a project like i like being durable with it feeling it and stuff because people are going to want to touch it if it's in someone's house and crap like that so if like anything comes loose i want to be able to fix it before it's getting sent to you yes you pineapple boy <laughs> but uh let's go oh here's a little bonnet or something for a doll I might actually, is this in good condition? This is in awful condition. I might sell that. I want to do like a clothes lot on eBay at some point, but uh, here's my glue gun. I'm using it for pineapple boy at some point. I got stuffing in this one. I have all these little storage totes I to bring one home from Doug's. I had all this like stuff to do puffy paints and stuff in it, but he never did it. We made, I was gonna do a Disney hat video we're going to find that too soon in this pile of stuff everywhere. And I, get, like, stopped doing the video. I stopped making the hat because it just looks so dumb. I did awful at it. So, yeah, that's my life. All this yarn for re-hairing something. These I wanted to do to make a fake cake. I thought that would be a blast. That one I was bored. Ooh. Little tail. Oh yeah, my dino, yeah, I haven't found that in forever. It's my little dino sculpture. I just found clay, good to know. I'm gonna keep that out more on the table actually so I know that I own it and it's there. I'm like a little soda laying there, I gotta move that then. There's like a spider, I have no clue. I think I wanna use this on a fake hand mirror that I do. This is like a sewed skirt I was working on and I never finished it. So maybe one day I will because I have the beads for this still, I believe. This chicken head I want to put on something. Oh, is this a non-broken? Oh, that's... Is it not broken? It doesn't feel broken. Maybe I'll use that on that one. I don't know. I have a bull bag of those feathers. Maybe I have a little hat. Oh, oops. Monster high head. I think somebody sent that to me actually. Earring that's mine. And I don't know what that is. That just stays down there because he's creepy. He'll come out one day. Yeah, right now though, I'm just trying to work on like stuff for this festival sort of ordeal. Hopefully, they have yummy food. <laughs> my way of thinking not like oh I hope people buy a bunch of my art like oh I hope the food's good <laughs> well I'm gonna be there all day you know okay I was trying to these headphones I don't even know if they work I wanted to do, like, the crown headphones with that. See, everything had, like, an idea in my head that I'm still like, yeah, I know what I'm doing with that. That's going to be for a pom-pom bag when I do those again. I have a bunch I need to get finished. If you don't know what that is, go to my Instagram. We have a big thing of little bobbers and jewels in this one. Look at it. Wow. I wanted to get for the pineapple three of those, the tinier ones. Like these. 
Wouldn't that be cute? I'm gonna put those aside for the pineapple guy, but we have to see how many he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll get twelve just to be safe. Let's get find twelve of these little guys. And I would like to get them the same size. As you can see, that's like a totally different color than that one. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see what we can find. If I get some on the floor, I'll just pick them up. I don't see any. Oh! There we go. Oh, I don't know if I. I think I hinted or said a couple times, but I'm getting a tattoo in Florida as well, a new one addition to my leg. I'm not going to say what it is. You guys can wait for the vlog, the video on my main channel. I'm so freaking excited though oh my goodness my last tattoo when did I get my last one April something like that so this was very like unexpected I um I sound so stuffy today I saw this person on well m my friend who lives in Florida who I'm going to see her friend went to the tattoo shop and then I went on to Instagram and checked her stuff out. And I was like, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Let's go. Let's do it. And then I was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted. And I had it in my head. Like, usually after I get, like, the next tattoo I want, I start brainstorming what I want after that. And I actually will be getting, probably, I'm planning this out, in the end of August, another tattoo in a different state. So stay tuned for that. A little road trip again. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just really, really, really excited about this one that I'm getting, and I just had it in my head for, like, the freaking longest time, and, like, guess what? Now it's happening. And I cannot wait. I think, uh, this tattoo artist is so talented. You'll get to see, like, more of her work, too, which I'll link, uh, her Instagram and everything after it gets done and stuff, but I just brainstormed what I wanted and what I knew I wanted for a while and then I thought of her and I'm like oh my gosh I'm going down there to begin with if I could just pull the money along to get the tattoo and guess what I did and it's happening and it's nuts and so many people are like if you can't get it it's not like a big deal and I'm just like uh that's what you say <laughs> that sounds awful but like I just, I love getting tattoos, and, like, my leg isn't that filled yet, so, like, I'm really trying to get it more filled. It obviously looks nicer when it's more filled, and some of mine are kind of, like, not together. They're spread out, so. I'm not going to show you right now, though, because my leg isn't really shaved, so if you want to see, you can look on Instagram or creep on older videos. I definitely have, like, a lot of videos where I show my tattoos and stuff just randomly. Do you think this is enough? I like the tiny ones, so we'll count out 12 of those. One, two. I like the tiny ones, but I like those also. I have more of those than those, so. I'm gonna keep searching. And I'll probably use whatever I find more of first because I don't wanna wait. I really like how the tiny ones look though. And I think I just found a couple tiny ones. Let's go. Did I drop it? No. There it is. Do I have enough? No, I need that. <sighs> like three more. I just like thought of that before I went to bed and I was like, I'm gonna have to find all those little gems tomorrow. I just thought it would be the cutest idea. It's okay, stuff's splattering, but we don't mind. I'll clean it up. <laughs> I 
I need one more. Woohoo! I got 12. Okay. Now we're gonna clean this all up. See, this little random whatever this is, it really does come in handy. I love going to like yard sales and flea markets and getting big bags of like broken jewelry and crap. And I guess I'll clean those up. I can't help but just put them in straight though because I just picked those all out. So we'll put them right there. So these dolls know what they're getting. That one up there. Somebody's little freaking eyelashes from over there. She's not done yet. I'm gonna get all of his little bedazzled rhinestones. Those won't go on till like the very end. But I have them, so that's good. Right there I wanted to put them. He's like laying down here flat. I'm like so slow motion today, but that's all right. It's a Monday. What the hell do you expect, you know? Alrighty. So, this little birdie needs to get it fixed. This needs Mod Podge on it. This is shipping stuff. Goes over there. I have really cute Disney bundles too right now, guys, on my eBay. So you should check that out. Quarter. That's my like material box, my sewing box. This has a bunch of sewing stuff in it. That'd be really cute actually to take into Disney. That might get emptied out. Actually, yeah. We're gonna do something right now, actually. Or go like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this has a bunch of sewing stuff in it. What is in here? I don't know. I had like a bunch of stuff in this as well. I'm gonna leave this bag, but it's not cooperating. Okay, cool. I was gonna sell this, but I was like, there's like holes in it and stuff on the one part, and it's just not, yeah, like right in here, and it's not in the best condition. So, we're gonna do a little switch over. I'm really freaking excited right now. No! This is why we're doing this, because my strings are getting untangled. Or my strings, yeah, pretty much. My little strings are getting untangled. That's why we're doing this. I keep all my like stuff right now in a box, but I can keep this bag in the box as well. And it's good like if I'm going somewhere, I could just throw a bunch of stuff in. I want to be able to try to do this on my road trip to Maryland. It's only two hours, but like I can get a lot of stuff like this done in two hours. And then I'm going to be like laying for a tattoo, so and I can give them like wrists a break then. This is going to need to get fixed re-glued, but that's okay. Just separated. I have so much, like, little crap over here. I'm trying to, like, take out these bricks. And... I don't know where the hell that string is coming from. Okay. This is a great idea, honestly. I like this string just putting in the pocket in here and then everything else I'm just putting into the bag because it fits the material I can use. Whenever I need it. Let's see. 
Alrighty. You never know what like little scraps you need if you're making something, you know. So rather than waste it, I'll well, use it eventually. I want to do some like little pumpkins and stuff too, needle stitch. But I want to finish the ones I'm obviously like working on that are more like summer themed first. Because it's summer now. Ew. This is a crazy long string. What is this? This is coming out of something. Oh my gosh. Really, that's just got crazy on its own. Thank you for whoever thumbs up my video live. I appreciate you. Yeah, this is terrible. I'm gonna have to cut it right there. This area, I am always like cleaning this area up too weekly and vacuuming it. Get rid of little like strings and odds and ends and clay and. Uh, trust me, tons of tons and tons of like paint spills by accident, too, not on purpose, on this floor. Carpet. Awful. <laughs> This string was like massive. There we go. Saved it. And what else is in here? More. We have more. Thank you for the second thumbs up. I love you. Greatly appreciate it. They actually do help my videos. I will when I'm gone. I'm going to have uh, some new ones coming out for you that Monday. And then probably Wednesday and then Friday I'll be back with like, hey, it's time for Disney. And you can check out the vlogs of the vlog channel. I'll try to like up to date those if I can. I'll probably have like a what I bought there haul and all that fun stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies have been so bad in Pennsylvania, I'm telling you. Okay, sorry guys. So, the material box is pretty much all of the materials that I use. That's like a little thing I've been working on. This has everything in it that I need for like sewing, like the needles and the thread. Here's one I was working on. that ribbon I sometimes like as you can see on the bottom have it like really stacked and organized and then this happens when I need to find the colors and stuff it's like everything and anything in here and I have a lot of the more of the rings oh here's more string might as well get that out <laughs> But anyways, so that's my craft supplies. That's what I like to do during the week and in the morning is just like make sculptures and craft. If you guys want to buy any of them, they are over at Little Sweet Sales, also coming to eBay. And yeah, if you guys like the video, please thumbs it up and I'll see you in the next. Bye guys.